I, I grew up following my father uh, going to the mosque where he was a community member. He was making an impact to the community and I thought that that's the kind of life I, I would want to have. I believe very early that it's important for the Malay Muslim community to work with the wider community. Actually, the harmony we have, the sense of respect we have for each other, no matter what race, language or religion, is not natural. It is something that we had to work on for the last 50 years. Some of the policies were explicitly done to get these results. As an example, the ethnic integration policies. Yes, it's been difficult for some families in selling and buying their flat. But what has been the outcome? The outcome is that we have a more racial mix in our HDB flats. And this is so special. We start to smell each other's food. We start to invite each other to the house during our festive period. We go to the school together, we went to work together, we went to NS together, and then we have become more united. And this is something that if we look around the region, has not been achieved, no matter what kind of policies they've tried, and we should be proud of it. Yeah, it's been a very meaningful journey. For the last nine years, I started being attached to the Ministry of Education. Immediately, I focused on the bottom 10-20% of our students. Because I want to know whether our students, our schools are well resourced. What I want to see is that if they are in school, they are properly engaged. If they are not in school but in register, why not why? Help them. Bring them in. The teachers can give the first line of help. Beyond that, of course, we need to help out as a community with a heart to embrace them and to be part of us. And I'm happy to say that in Singapore, no matter where you live, no matter who you're born to, you will definitely have access to the best schools any government, anyone can give. We have arrived here as a prosperous nation. We have arrived here going through many challenges and we have upheld the principles of which this Singapore is about because we love this place. Money can't buy everything, but most of all, money can't buy community. It's something we need to build slowly we need to build with leadership and more importantly, we can only build together.